Academic integrity is fundamental to research. When we look at information and sources, people expect us as academic experts in the field to ask questions and draw informed conclusions that they can then rely on. We need to weigh up the evidence and consider different viewpoints. One of the biggest questions is about the relevance and reliability of the source. To what extent do we trust the findings and the source? So we need to be able to look at academic papers and know that the research has been carried out to high standards and that we can trust what has been written. Find an academic article from within your discipline. You can use the My Subject area on the library website. Click on Undergraduates, My Subject, and choose your subject from the lists. In conjunction with your module conveners, the library has listed some of the most useful sources of information for students in your subject. Here you can access subject-specific resources such as databases, journal articles, reports and more. Have a look at the source that you have located. How is the evidence presented? You may find that each statement is supported by a citation. In the example here, it is shown by a superscript number, a type of Vancouver referencing style. At the end of the article is a reference list with details of author and publication so that it can be found. These citations within an academic piece of writing show the author has built their argument upon a published source. Does your article use the Vancouver referencing style? This is another article from the same subject area. Notice it has a different referencing style that gives the author and date in the citation instead of numbers. This is the Harvard reference style. It also has a reference list, but it is arranged alphabetically, not in order of appearance. Does the article you found use the Harvard referencing style? Academics must follow the exact referencing format required by any journal they submit a paper to. You will also learn how to do this. Write down to which words are in bold and which are in italics. You can find out the referencing style for your department on the library website under How to Reference. Click on How to Reference. Find the style recommended by your department and choose your department from the list. If we look at a reference list, we see the types of publications that we used. We can use this to help evaluate how reliable the source was. The gold standard is peer-reviewed publications such as journal articles, as these have been reviewed by experts in the subject. Errors, mistakes, biased experiments and weak conclusions are likely to have been challenged and filtered out. However, it is still possible that mistakes can slip through, or limited viewpoints given, or that conclusions may be flawed, so we should look critically at whatever conclusions have been published. Other sources might include academic textbooks, government publications, newspaper articles and web pages. Sources can vary in terms of how reliable they are. It is up to you to consider the strengths and weaknesses of a publication and decide how reliable you think it is. Academic books, whilst written by experts, may present a limited range of views and they may not be peer-reviewed. Publications by an organisation may be biased by underlying political motives or other factors, but they may reflect the organisation's policy at that time. 
newspaper articles may be simplified and politically biased, but can be useful in indicating the general views of the population. Web pages can vary from those written by experts to those with very specific agendas to those set up as class projects, so the content and source must be evaluated very carefully. In academic writing, we use citations and references to provide evidence for our statements, so the reader, if interested, can find out more. And this can help you keep within a word limit. Importantly, it acknowledges the author of the original work. Not acknowledging the, another's work is plagiarism. Is including a citation enough? Compare the original source here with how a student may use it. See how it includes quotations and a citation, so this is not plagiarism. However, simply repeating it word for word, even if you include a citation, may be poor academic practice. To make it useful to your research and to develop your critical approach, you need to rephrase it. You should relate it to your essay question, commenting on how it can be understood in its context. You may want to discuss what to what extent the evidence can help answer your research question. Perhaps it is valid and reliable, but has limitations to its relevance. Rephrasing, commenting on and referencing another's work makes it more relevant to your essay or research question, demonstrates your understanding, avoids plagiarism and possible penalties, and develops your critical academic approach. Academic integrity is therefore central to research and study at university. You must now begin to build your reputation as a trustworthy and thorough researcher. In the following tutorial, we will consider some common, but perhaps less obvious examples of plagiarism.